Welcome sa sip9.com. Uh, in this video ay pag-aaralan natin kung paano ba mag-add ng mixed fractions. Ano? Kung saan yung fractional part ng mga mixed fractions na ito ay uh, similar fractions. But before that, meron tayong dalawa na hindi muna siya mixed fractions. Pag-aaralan muna natin kung paano mag-add. This is just a review of uh, the previous posts kung saan nag-add tayo ng similar fractions. So we have one. What? is 1 fifth plus 2 fifths. So, kung hindi nyo naalala, ang similar fractions, sila yung fractions na merong pareho yung kanilang denominator. No? So, kung meron tayong fraction, ang number sa itaas, ang tawag natin doon ay numerator, at yung number sa ibaba ay denominator. So, dito sa addition uh, sentence na ito, or addition expression, ang denominator nila ay parehong 5. So, ang tawag natin sa kanila ay similar similar fractions. Napag-aralan na natin to no sa previous video ano pero kung hindi niya pa napanood. So similar fractions. Pag pareho, pag hindi pareho, dissimilar. No? So hindi pa natin napag-aralan yung dissimilar fractions. So sabi natin pag nag-add tayo ng similar fractions as is na lang yung as is yung kanilang denominator and then we add the numerators. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Okay, so ganun lang ka simple no. Number two, uh, we have three, three six plus four six. So again, copy lang natin yung uh, denominator kasi pareho silang similar or similar fraction sila. So we have we have to copy the denominator and then we add the numerators to seven six. Okay, yung seven six pwede pa natin yan simplify no? Kasi, uh, ito ay tinatawag natin na improper fraction. So, usually, pag tayo ay uh, naglalagay ng final answer, it's either proper fraction siya or mixed fraction. No? So, maraming teachers, uh, pag nasa elementary kayo or high school, usually hindi ito tinatanggap. No? Uh, depende rin sa teacher, pero kadalasan hindi siya tinatanggap. So, Uh, para natin ma-simplify ito, pwede natin siyang gawin na 6 over 6, no? Or 6, 6 plus 1, 6, no? Magiging 7, 6 pa rin ito kasi 6 plus 1 is 7, di ba? Then copy the denominator. But 6, 6 is equal to 1. Magiging 1 plus 1, 6 siya. And 1 plus 1, 6 ay... Pwede natin siyang isulat na 1 and 1, 6. So, ibig sabihin, ang pinakasagot natin dito, scratch lang natin ito. No? Pwede natin siyang sabihin equal to 1 and 1, 6. Okay? So, number 3. Okay, ito na, may mixed fraction na natin. Ito, review lang ito ng mga previous na napag-aralan natin, no? So we have 3 plus 5 and 5, 6. Okay, so dito meron tayong dalawang whole numbers, 3 at 5. Pwede na natin yan sila i-add ng diretsyo. Pag meron kang whole numbers, pwede na natin i-add ng diretsyo yan. We have 8. So 3 plus 5 is 8. And then we just copy 5, 6. Kasi wala naman tayong fractional part dito, no? So, ito na yung sagot natin. We add the, the whole numbers and then we copy the fraction. Okay, number four. We have uh, two sevenths plus four and six sevenths. No? So, again, uh, meron tayong whole number. Wala tayong whole number dito, so pwede natin kopyahin na lang yan. And then we add the fractions, no? So similar naman sila, so copy lang natin yung uh, denominator. And then 2 plus 6 is 8. Okay, again, may improper tayo, no? O, kung hindi nyo pala alam yung improper, yun yung fraction na uh, mas malaki yung kanyang uh, numerator sa denominator, okay? Equal. So dito mas malaki in this case. So again, yung 8 over 7, anong pwede natin gawin dyan? Or sorry, 8 7th. Yan, 8 7th. Yan yung 
pinakatamang basa dyan. So, 8 sevenths is the same as 7 sevenths plus 1 seven. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, pag in natin itong dalawa, 8 pa rin siya and then we copy the denominator. But again, yung 7 sevenths is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 seventh dito. No? So, which is equal to 1 and 1 sevenths. So, ibig sabihin, yung 8 seventh sevenths natin dito is the same as is the same as, pa-plus na lang natin, no? Is the same as 8 oh, sorry. Siguro, ilagay na rin natin, you know? Is the same as 4 plus 1. Yung 8 seventh natin ay 1 and 1 sevenths. So, ito bale, itong 8 sevenths natin dito ay ito na siya. Okay? Okay? Dito na siya napunta. But again, dalawang whole numbers, so pwede na natin sila pagsamahin, magiging equal to 4 plus 1 is 5. Magiging 5 and 1 sevenths. Okay? So nakikita nyo yung pattern. Kailangan maghahanap lang kayo ng number na equal yung numerator tsaka denominator. So, kung titignan nyo kung ano yung denominator niya dito, ang denominator niya dito sa sa kabila is 6. So, dapat 6, 6, 6 yung 1 nyo, no? Dito rin sa kabila ay 7. So, dapat 7, 7 yung equivalent ng 1 para makuha nyo yung may nakamix fraction niya. Okay? So, number 5, last number, what is 1 and 3 fifths plus 2 and 4 fifths? Okay? So again, meron tayong whole numbers. Pwede natin i-add yan 3. And then we add the fractions. Similar pa rin sila, so we just copy the denominator. And then 3 plus 4 is 7. Again, pwede natin itong i-simplify, no? So, 7 fifths, 7 fifths, 7 fifths is the same as 7 Anong 1 natin dito? Yung kapareho nung uh, denominator, di ba? Para makabutay ng 1, magiging 5 fifths, no? Ba plus... Ano na lang natira dun sa 7? 2 na lang natira, 2 fifths. Okay, so magiging, pag biniligtad yan, pag pinlas natin, magiging 7 and then copy the denominator. So, 2, two fifths plus 5 fifths equals 7 fifths. Okay? And again, yung 5 fifths is equal to 1. Magiging 1 plus 2 fifths. Or, 1 and 2 fifths. Okay? So, yung 7, yung 7 fifths natin ay equal sa 1 and 2 fifths. So, magiging equal to 3 plus, plus 7 fifths yan, diba? But 7 fifths again is 1 and 2 fifths. So, plus 1, 1 and 2 fifths, which is equal to again yung 7 fifths natin dito naging 1 and 2 fifths siya no? again meron silang whole numbers so i-add natin ulit sila magiging 3 plus 1 is 4 and 2 fifths ito yung pinaka final answer natin alam mo yung mga final answers natin we have here we have here we have here here. Naka final answer natin. Okay? So I hope meron kayo natutunan sa video na to, no? Ah, uh, kung paano ba mag-add ng 
ng uh, mixed fractions kung saan yung kanyang fractional part ay uh, similar fractions. So the idea is pag proper pag improper siya, ibig sabihin mas malaki yung yung numerator sa denominator, maghahanap tayo ng 1. Is split natin yung improper fraction into 1 and some remaining parts no dito. For example, 5 fifths is 1 and at the remaining part is 2 fifths. And then we add the the yung 1, yung whole number dun sa kung may whole number man nakasama before, no? So, yan lang. Maraming salamat at see you in the next tutorial.